Hey guys, it's Chris from Hope Club. Have you guys ever thought about the fact that you know how God is so good and amazing and powerful? And have you ever thought about what it might be like if you were God? A lot of people have thought about this throughout history and sometimes it's made them have some pretty weird ideas. And of course, we believe there's only one God and he is good and he's all powerful and he's different than we are. But sometimes people have thought that maybe they could be just as, you know, big and amazing and whatnot, and they've gotten really prideful, right? Well, there's a story like this in the Bible very early on about these people who came and they decided that they were going to build a tower. But not just any tower, guys. Like a crazy tall tower. Have you ever played Jenga where you build the building blocks up and you gotta take one block out and it all falls down? Well, these people built like the crazy biggest Jenga tower you could imagine. They built this huge, huge, huge tower. And they said, that when they came together, that they were unstoppable, that not even God could stop them, that they could reach to the heavens to God himself. Well, God looked down on this and he was like, whoa, these guys are super duper arrogant. Not because they wanted to build a tower, there's nothing wrong with that, but because they thought they were better than God, which it's not how it works. God is all powerful. And the Bible says that he uh, doesn't share his glory with another. In other words, who he is, he, he doesn't share that with others. He's the one and only God. And so what God did was he created different languages. So um, that was something that didn't exist up until this point all the different languages. And this is where the original different languages come from. Up until this point, everybody spake, spoke the same language. But it says that God came and confused their speech and that they started babbling different speeches. And that's often believed why that was called the Tower of Babel. They were just babbling on all these different languages. Well, you might think, Chris, that doesn't sound like a very hopeful story. That sounds kind of depressing. Now no, now everybody spoke different things and they were confused and they couldn't speak together. That doesn't sound very hopeful. Here's the thing. As we've said, that the reason we have a heart in Hope Club is because God's love gives us hope. Well, God in his love, he wants us to be unified, be able to be speaking to one another, communicating, having unity. But he wants us to have unity the right way. Unity in Christ, unity in God, not unity in how, you know, amazing we think we are, even though you guys are all amazing special people. But we have to remember that God is always the highest. He's the one that we should always look up to as the greatest. And he is creating this world one day. He's creating a future for us where we can be in heaven together We'll all speak and understand each other, and we'll have true unity in God. So the hope I want you to hold on to today is no matter how crazy the world gets, we can have a true unity in Christ, not a false unity in our pride. So anyway, I guess guys, just remember, why do we have a heart and hope club? Because God's love gives us hope. God bless.